Hello there, hi there, welcome to Spurred. Today, I'm gonna do J-Lo and Ben. I need to get away from Gypsy Rose. <laughs> so let's see, what's going on? What's the energy between J-Lo and Ben now that the divorce has been confirmed? My goodness, that third party situation back in, I don't know, February or January, whenever it was, uh, I guess we know what it means now, according to PR, but I don't know what I believe. So what is the energy? What's really going on? What's the energy? What's the energy between JLo and Ben? Well, we got the player and the mass. So somebody's lying. All right. Charming, manipulative, karmic, and being tested, hidden motive, concealed, disguise, and lying. <laughs> so, yeah. Who, which one do you think's lying? And which one do you think is the player? I'd, or is she lying about him being a player? But do you think they thought it was divine union and it turned out to be karmic crap? Let's see. A lesson learned. Someone's lying. Let's. What is the what is the agenda here? Because there's a hidden motive to this player energy. So it's to save face, probably. But let's see. Why you gotta cover your face? Ex-lover, memories, the past, old flame, nostalgia. <laughs> All right. So, um, does Jen think that the other Jen got one up on Ben? Or was Ben connected to this Kennedy in the past? An old flame, the past. It doesn't matter. It's the past. Past. Let's keep going. <laughs> doesn't this kind of look like Jennifer? <laughs> Like, not the just the glasses, like that those aviator glasses that she was notoriously wearing back in the day. I don't know if she still wears them, but, you know. She was very much hung up on the past. She didn't realize that she was being manipulated. So maybe, maybe what's coming out is actually true. She thought he was her soulmate, Twin Flame. There we go. So that's what she thought, but it turned out to be a karmic soul connection, past lives, soul contract. She really was in love with him. Let's keep going. Give me the energies. Jennifer Lopez Affleck. She Affleck. She's dropping the name. I didn't even know she had it. Some content creator pointed that out. I didn't know either. There's the money. Money problems, work, material things, and success. It's all coming out. Is somebody lying about the money? Because money, like, you know... I mean, let's face it. Jay, De, De Lolo or De, De Lulu or De Lola, her, her alcohol brand's like $9.99, but you can only find it in like 28 stores. What? <laughs> you know, and... This is a new brand on clearance already. I'm not. I'm. I'm not. Uh, roll the dice. All right. Did somebody have a gambling addiction? Is um. Did Ben get in this to pay off some debt? Um. We've got take a chance, risk, leap of faith, and money problems. The strategy was to use to be the player to use her. Was this what was going on? How much debt? Um, or gambling problems does Ben Affleck have or or Jennifer Lopez? I don't know. This is the energy for them. So go either way. But I'm going to say it's um, not Jennifer, <laughs> you know, because the could because of the alcohol thing. A lot of alcoholics and gambling go hand in hand. Um, it's the it's the lifestyle, the adrenaline the it's like um, copying of drugs. Oh, see, I'm trying not to say the words, and I said the word. Darn it. <laughs> Bucket now. <laughs> um, storm warning, upheaval, obstacle, wrecking ball. Don't tell me Miley Cyrus is the part of this. <laughs> drama. No, there's a lot of drama. I, th I think that Ben brings out the worst in Jen. She becomes desperate and needy. I don't know if she's always like this. I haven't, like, I mean, Jen's been out there. I'm not unaware of who Jennifer Lopez is. I mean, 
but I just I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know. Let's pull some other from a different deck. Let's pull from hmm. Well, we'll pull a couple from this one and this one and the Kipper cards at the end. We'll we'll just give me a few. See, tell me more about Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck because what is all this drama the wrecking ball the, oh my goodness but the strategy like this was the plan to lie to be the for i'm gonna say debt for you know to fix a financial problem we've got receptivity balance so equal give and take maybe the the divorce will be balanced who knows ardor and passion so you can only fake the funk for so long right like it went both ways memory of senses okay so they awaken something in each other when they got back together and it is this soulmate kind of energy you know or a karmic energy or past life connection whatever you want to call these people that keep going back to each other right can't seem to let go and you know whatever the labels slap it on keep it if you like it if not toss it aside and just say that when they got back together you know it ignited something in both of them and it was it actually was mutual but that's a memory now that's like a memory is like hindsight remembering you know so I don't know. Let's pull some of these and then we'll pull the, the Kipper. Should we pull from the Cosmic? Maybe. I haven't pulled from that deck yet. So maybe the Cosmic Pearl. Since the the um all the labels are coming up. <laughs> Gemstone Trap. Yeah, the ring. Was it worth it? How many colored diamonds? Look, it's not even... That's what we got here. Can we just get a regular... How about next time, Jen, you give me just a band? Practice some humility. The diamond, because the diamond thing's not working. It, it hasn't worked so far. Amidst sparkling treasures, the brightest jewel often hides the deepest cut. Yeah, she's hurt. The ring hurt this time around. Some things, you know, in in the mind, the fantasy of things, they're not the reality, you know? <sighs> Seek worth, not just shine. So this is basic direction for Jen to like be more authentic and not be so superficial. But I don't, I don't know. I don't think she felt like she was being superficial with Ben. Like in her mind, she probably was the most authentic that she's ever been. And I, I also tend to believe that that's the mindset Jen is in with every relationship. She's just, uh, Hopeless romantic, right? Look, new beginnings. There's the door. Seek new exits. Yeah, it's time to go. Behind every closed door, a new beginning awaits. So, yeah, we see that. And and it's, again, Jen, seek your own worth, your, your, your self-worth, but keep it moving. She's closing the door. Like, there's no more ring bling. Um get out this is next chapter so how about one from the cosmic pearl about what is to come for jennifer lopez not the word we, who cares ben <laughs> i like ben but you know like right now let's just focus on jen and what's to come in her future because since you know if she decides to open the door to self-worth Look, inner beauty. She'll discover her inner beauty and not be so fixated on the, you know, the beautiful colored diamonds and the, the you know, million dollar mansions and spending 60, however million dollars of yours to tell a love story that, you know, I feel bad for, honestly, I do. Because th that is just so humiliating as a woman. And the whole time Ben's producing this thing and he wasn't even in it. Like, you know, me, I mean, in the relationship, like I'm sure at that time he, he had one foot out the door. Like, what did I do and why am I doing what I'm doing right now type of deal? I don't know. But inner beauty 
internal light, kindness, and service. So if she were to actually close this door and begin anew, she would be able to focus on herself if she does decide to focus on herself and not the shiny new things or material things. I, I know y'all are going to hammer me for even saying it right. She's not going to do that. She's so superficial and self-centered and narcissistic. And I hear you don't have to type it. I heard it. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you can type it. Get it off your chest. It's okay. You can get it off your chest. But if she was, if she actually does close the door and open the door to this, she will find her inner beauty and strength within so that's what i have you know and like i said as a woman i feel i really i i don't care if you don't like her or, and you don't like the music or whatever or she's superficial or you want to knock her off her block or her pedestal that she put herself on i get it but as a woman i still i still have a compassion for her circumstance because wow did she get played for that, I'm sorry for that she is had to go through that. If it's true, bye.